Can you hear me now? Testing one, two, three. Oh, it looks like there's the green bar is doing its thing now. Are we all good now? Yes. Right then, folks. Oh dear. Right. So, a um, couple of things. Um, so tonight's not going to be a particularly long stream because uh, I'm quite tired. <laughs> I've been struggling all day, to be honest. Um, so um, I'm going to look at the Sedin route. I'm going to look at the new Aero Train. These are the two that DLCs that just came out today, and then that's it. It's be a similar length train sim live to normal, slightly slightly shorter, but similar. Uh, but then I'm not going to go ahead and do flight afterwards. I'm just going to uh, say good night and go to bed. So um, uh, we're going to start off with a look at the Sedin route. So Sedin route is a bolt-on for uh, Berlin. Oh, actually, yes, Nimi Boy, second month resub. Um, thank you very much, Nimi Boy. <laughs> he said, just saying two months and I haven't realised. And then he was saying, I can't make the stream tonight. Lots of work to do. Best of luck. And then he's actually turned up. So <laughs> good to have you with us, Nimi Boy. Um, so, yeah, Sedin Freight bolts on to the Berlin um, uh, Leipzig line. Um, I want to get in. I'll show you the map. <clears throat> but essentially, if you imagine you've got the north-south, which is the line Berlin-Leipzig, Somewhere up the top there, there's the loop, and it goes across to, that way on the camera, to Berlin uh, BBI, the airport. Well, essentially, if you get carried on on that same line and went past the Berlin-Leipzig line in the other direction, you end up at Sedin. It's about 40 kilometers, 4-0, um, and you need to own Berlin-Leipzig to be able to use it. Leipzig is the newer route, uh, Crucible. So the author built Berlin-Wittenberg, then Berlin-Leipzig, and then um, Sedin's a bolt on to it. <clears throat> right, so uh, I'm going to start off with standby duty. If, the, if we get into the route, then you can see the route. Rob Allen, I've got no idea about compatibilities with other versions of the route. None whatsoever. Callum Beatson, thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. Right, standby duty means move locomotives into the freight yard, upgrade, dismantle, and help where there are not enough people. And sometimes you have to take on a trip all of a sudden. Your locomotive that you've just climbed into is thirsty. Drive to the fuel station at 5.02pm and then return it here. Then we'll see what's next. Attention, the speed limit in the entire depot is 25. What I should do at this point. Right. Is it even running? It's not running. Better. Fuel light bingo. I've never done that in truck sim at all. Oh, you're moving your guide to a recently a, a special website. Oh, nice one, Steam Trains Unlimited. Better. I've no idea what that means. Why is that not in English? <laughs> God, I can't speak German. Bitte Shelter Fahren auf Einstellen. Right, translate.google.com. You are my friend. Bitte Fahren. Bitte Shelter. Please something. Please switch. Set to drive. Um. Sharky, um, steam keys are up to twenty eight days. I don't know how to set it to drive. How do I set it to drive? 
as soon as I have them I will let everybody know in fact what I'm going to do is when I when I get them um, I'll be uh, taking a night off streaming to get them out to people <sighs> let me have a look in the manual and see if this is covered in the manual I guess this is the um, virtual railroads version of the loco I put the reverser into forward. Oh, don't tell me it's another one of these that's got funky scripting that means it it's not working even though I have put it in. No. No, even though the reverse is in forward, it's still not let me do anything. Let me look in the manual. The manual should have all my answers. Shift W. What? Drive on off. Ah. Hey. Manual equal cheating. Bit windy, eh? Yeah? I, I think the 232 looks lovely. It's the Lud Miller, isn't it, if I remember rightly? But I like locos that look like working locos. So anyway, it looks like at the map while we're waiting. So this is the um, this is the Berlin line coming down here. This is the the loop that gets you over to um, Berlin uh, Airport B Berlin BBI. Then this is um, Berlin Schönefeld, and then you come down here all the way and you end up at uh, Leipzig. Um, so the Seden route joins on at the loop, so it comes off this way from the loop um, and goes around to here. This is what's getting added, essentially, this bit here, as far as I can tell. You get the BR232, comes with the pack. We're just waiting for it to fill up. It's getting there. It's not particularly big, but I think I think it's like thirty-five or forty kilometers, something along those lines. Yeah. There's the tile. <laughs>
No, this doesn't give you the Leipzig route. You do need to buy Berlin Leipzig before you buy this. Unfortunately, Steam won't prevent you from making a mistake. So you need to um, make sure uh, you um, <coughs> you own that before you buy this. There's been a mishap at Schoenfeld. A tank train was left behind. The locomotive is on fire. Drive to the Schoenfeld Airport train station and take control of the tank train. You'll be directed from Glasgow Dam via Track T. His train's already backed up there. However, a heavy coal train will be in front of you as of Miegendorf. Making sure we're going the right way. Looks like it. Close enough, anyway. Minecraft2611, thank you for the follow. What do you mean no 1000 hertz train boy? Bees are bees on. See? Where is Bees are bee? That's a very good question. Add it over there. That might be it there, actually. Maybe. I guess we'll find out. on the display on your right. What this thing? Oh yeah, there it is. 1000 hertz, 500 hertz. There you go. I had a quick skim through the manual for this one. It's got a, a, another variation on the German signals. <laughs> it's sort of similar, except that there's a coloured bar underneath some of them. Why hasn't there been a TPTS in a while? Good question. Maybe we'll try and do a TPTS tomorrow. I'll try and remember to set one up. Older style HP signal system. Color bars convey speed restrictions. 
Yeah, it seems like green with a green vertical bar, uh, sorry, green horizontal bar is, I think, 100 kilometers an hour. And then green, yellow with a yellow, I think it, I can't remember now, 60 kilometers an hour or something. I don't know. I'm probably going to get it wrong, so. Yellow bar 60, green bar 100, there you go. It said the whole complex should be done at 25, so I'm trying to keep it under 25. Yeah, and it's HL signal, ex-Soviet Russian signaling with modification. Ah, sounds good. Map is a little off. Yeah, it always was off. Remember Berlin-Wittenberg, the route that this is based on, was started long before Google Earth was uh, a thing in the game. I do need to stop, but I thought I'd stop near the signal train, boy. What you make you go out the other way here? <laughs> no. Going out the other way wouldn't take us very far. I'll turn the map off, that way it won't bother anybody. Flashing yellow with a single yellow underneath it. Go on, Jan, what's that? <laughs> oh, that's about restrict about something like 40k makes through here. Expect 40k makes at the next signal. Is that it? Forty, and then expect forty sixty. Oh, I wasn't far off. <laughs> One of these days, um, Simon, I generally just go with. Uh, in fact, switch to that one. I generally just go with. Uh, if it's not all greens, then it needs acknowledging. Right now, Yan, PZB Ein is flashing. Is that the equivalent of um, monitoring? Meaning I'm still in 25 limit. You're all wrong. It's clearly custom tart, custard tart sold at the next station. And the flashing yellow means they sold out fast. <laughs> Hey, Steve with glasses. I'm good, thank you.
Well, I don't know if, I, if, if it's a flashing green light in Germany. Yeah, yes, you acknowledge it. I don't know about I don't know about Dan, uh, Denmark. Flashing green light is advice of uh, speed restriction. What type of music do I listen to, Oscar? If you ask my wife, then she would say elevator music. The 1000 Hz is gone, but it's still on um, monitoring. I got green. Alright, now it can speed up. In Denmark, you don't acknowledge signals. Well, that's that sounds primitive. Oh, I'm never doing Danish DLC. Knocking out the power then. Forgot about that sixty. Oh, I'm never going to finish German scenarios at a thousand points. Don't be silly. Tommy is ace. Thank you for the subscription, Tommy. Much appreciated. Thank you for your support. the data extraction program. GG. It's a German scenario. It is indeed a miracle if I get a positive score. Supposedly a signal here somewhere. Oh, there it is. I'm blind, apparently. 
Are those lights that you programmed currently on? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Apparently doesn't work with that, though. But yes, they, they're running. What do I think of the Victory Works Terriers? They are every bit as good as any other Victory Works steamer. Very, very nice. Oh, it's down to 100, so it didn't need acknowledging. That's right. It's fine. I'd rather acknowledge when I don't need to than the other way round. Other lights, just normal light bulbs, rather special. They're Philips Hue. If you look up Philips HUE, Hue, it's their um, smart home lighting system. So they're, they're LED bulbs, um, and they've got some extra circuitry to make them respond to Wi-Fi commands. Steam trains, you'd love a German line f uh, steam equipped and fully running with steam only. Me too, that would be awesome actually. PWB, what's that? Trackside simulations. I'm going to guess no. Oh, in Miami scenario pack. Uh, no, I've not actually. Twenty five kilometres to our destination. I like the fact this cab has got a great big white light that says Sifa that lights up. You can't help but see it. Oh, it's a train boy, is there something I don't like about your area? Um, Miami's just Miami West Palm Beach is just not my favourite of the American routes. But if the scenario pack's out for it, I'll certainly run that. I didn't even realise that was out.
Can TS handle lightning and thunder? Um, yes, there are. If you play Sherman Hill, the final scenario has got a big lightning storm. Um, and um, Western Lines of Scotland, uh, in the Edge of Strand Ra scenario, I put in a lot of. Um, uh, so a big uh, a load of different weather, including some flashes and bangs and things. Are you trying to be funny, train voice? Yeah, I didn't realise. I can imagine it does, Steam Trams. I can imagine it does. I imagine that's really nice. Correct loco or the correct livery? I would personally go with the correct loco and then just come up with it's in the wrong livery, it's not been repainted yet, blah blah blah. Wrong loco is a bit harder to explain. Hey, baby bean kid. Where are we on the map? Uh, we are heading towards Berlin at the moment. We should be on the loop shortly. In fact, we're actually on the loop technically already. There is the Berlin main line. Virtual Tracks is the developer, Trackside Simulations. I believe Aerosoft is the um, German publisher of it, and then Aerosoft are pushing it through um, Steam via Dove Dovetail Games. Something like that. Yeah, and this yawning is why I'm not streaming too late on. <laughs> I'm fit to collapse into my bed. But I wanted to have a look at these before I do so. James Plains, I'm going to do another one on the setting, part two of this scenario. And then we're going to hop over to um, Horseshoe Curve and have a look at the, um, the new aero train. American Pacer. <laughs>
That's exactly right, trying drag side simulations. Oh, that's okay. I'll survive, train boy. I'll survive. I'm really looking forward to having a look at the aero train. It's got this, uh, you know, it's really interesting. What's my max speed anyway? <clears throat> We're in PCB O, so uh, max speed according to PCB is 160. It is 120. I thought it was 120. Uh, 120. I had it nagging in my background, in the back of my ear voice, that it was uh, 120. Looks like I'm about to pull a rob. What's a... what? <laughs> You're excited for the TSW question mark, are you? Me too. I'm, I'm really looking forward to showing you the question mark. Have I played the Aerotrain yet? I haven't looked at it at all, apathetic. The only time I get to play this these days is when I'm on the stream with you guys. <laughs> Steven, you have a question. Go on, fire away with your question. Francois, there's a TSW logo in the bottom left corner. Don't have to acknowledge it because it's down to 100. Green, yellow, greens, 100 kilometers an hour. Oh no. <laughs> Mouse was on the wrong, wrong application. Hey DJ SB, how are you? This loco is a diesel, apathetic. Is it hard not to talk about TSW projects? It can be, yeah, because, you know, particularly with one of some of the stuff I was playing with today, I really want to tell you about it, but I can't. <laughs> That's kind of fun, though, to be honest, teasing everybody. The question mark has been great fun. Francois, um, it's kind of the business sets the dates. 
because business has to meet goals otherwise it's not going to be able to pay salaries um, those dates are subject to change uh, and sometimes quite often do um, but um, yeah essentially I'm, I'm told what the dates are to deliver and to some extent that's based on what what we can actually deliver it in so you know it does round trip kind of it's it should fit What do I like best about working with Dovetail, Steve? The, just the fact that it's such a nice place to work. It, it's, um, it, you know, it's a very friendly atmosphere. Not just not just because of the people, but because of the um, the attitude of management generally is one of what can they do to help you do your job better, and what can they do to help you if you've got anything wrong. You know, they, um, there's, it's. Yeah, they're very good. They're very, very good. Nothing to do with the freebies. To be honest, I was a beta tester before I joined the company, so I already had everything. <laughs> so I really didn't get, gain anything in that in that respect. I like being on the ground floor with everything going on with um, TS World. I mean, that's pretty awesome. Watched breakfast on you. You enjoyed that, did you? Breakfast is great. That big question mark is so good, isn't it, Big Dog? I was so pleased when I saw it. I was like, oh, it's just so well done. Steven Jump, I haven't even begun to think about tomorrow. My main concern was um, getting through today in one piece. <laughs> Oh, it's definitely good being around all the developers and everybody else that's involved in it. People focus a lot on developers, uh, which is you know, great because they do put a lot of work in. But there's other people besides the developers that work on the game, like you know the uh, marketing team, the retail team. All do some really good stuff. So I need to tab into there. restrictive still. Does DTG take applications from outside the UK? Only for people who are going to move in into the UK at the moment. What's the longest route? 
Is it Weird Al Tisto? I think if you want NC, Weird, T Weird Al Tisto is not a a conventionally long route. It's a, it's a big network, so it adds up, but any one journey isn't very long. Um, I'll say that. That's not even fair, actually. They, they add up. Um, but in terms of sort of length, single journey, then probably um, something like Canadian Mountain Passes or Donna Pass or something, I mean, they're going to be... Uh, in the sort of the order of the, the top end. Oh dear. Western Lines of Scotland is about 105. Your Donna Pass is a lot longer than that. I think it's about 140. The South African route is long as well, although that's measured in kilometres, so it sort of tricks you. That's 190 kilometres, if I remember rightly. Matt's previous train. Nice! <laughs> Oh, that's brilliant. That is fantastic. What a great set of assets for people to use. Route of restricted monitoring. Just coming out of the temporary speed restriction. What's the process of creating a loco? Um, well, you do a bunch of research on the loco to find out exactly what loco it is, because there's normally a lot of different varieties and variations of the loco. Um, you work out which one you're going to, who you, you know, can you get out to see one? For, to be honest, more often than not, you can't. Um, what photos can you find online? Can you get out to get recordings of one for audio? Then you do a sort of a technical research, what kind of engines it got, what systems has it got. And you start building up kind of a specification for what the loco needs, then the artists will... So fuel I just crashed into, it's fine. Um, and then the artists will start building the um, the loco. Um, the then once that gets to a certain point, the setup guys can start figuring out what buttons need to be pushed, and then the our loco guys can start putting all the animations on the levers and things. Right, the trip has been completed. Well done, driver. The train's arrived at Airport Schonefeld. Ah, see now this I recognise. I flew into Airport uh, to Berlin Schonefeld because remember rightly, it's all it's an under under stair thing under here to get out to the airport. I think that's the airport over there, is it? Or is the airport over there? It's a tin pot little airport. Tiny little thing. Gold medal! Glod! Can I get some glods in the chat, please? Glod, glod, glod. What is what picture? Do I know what's in development for TS1? Yes, I do. In fact, I was helping the TS1 people come up with ideas for things. Brilliant. Right, okay, good. Right, that's that one. Now, part two. <laughs> 